guys, welcome back to my channel. So from the title of this video, you can assume that today I will be talking about languages. And I'm really excited because I love learning languages. And when people from Ling app approached me and offered me to try their app, I was really excited because uh, I love trying something new and uh, just uh, wanted to make sure like to let you know that uh, it is not sponsored and all the opinions that I will be stating are my own uh, but yeah let's start so somewhere on the screen here I will put a video that I filmed from my phone uh, just showing you how the app looks from the phone but you can use it also on your desktop and I really love how it looks it's simple and um, like you can navigate yourself pretty easily uh, the main color is yellow which I really love because it's bright and happy and just like a cheerful uh, dice color and little like how can I say a mascot uh, is a monkey that follows you around through your uh, language learning journey and what I like about this app that you can first choose uh, which language you're speaking and then the language that you want to learn so even if you like uh, you don't have to put your mother tongue I mean you can just uh, learn a new language from your second language I really like this option because for example you can choose to study a uh, new language from the language that you already know it's like uh, two birds with one stone uh, for example uh, English is not my main language but I choose that I speak English and that I want to learn French so I was studying French from English, but you can also like just make other combinations if you know uh, different languages. And then after you choose, uh, you start to learn and it is divided into sections for beginners, intermediate, advanced and so on. Yes, you can see in my screen uh, how the app looks from my phone, but I decided to show you uh, on my desktop laptop. So off to my laptop. Alright guys, so this is the main uh, page when you enter their website and when you enter your profile uh, on the Lean app. So here I can see that I am studying French and this is the review, uh, how many words I have learned, 104 so far. I can do a review and this is 0 out of 200 uh, banana points. And also here I can collect the bananas for uh, ranking higher in the leaderboard and I can collect stars where I can earn coins that will help me uh, when I finish lesson, lesson and they will help me to have some hints if I don't know um, if I don't know how to do something. So here are first lessons. First you start as a beginner and each lesson has like uh, these like four actually four mini lessons and then a speaking part and as well as a, like a mini test and as we go down we will have intermediate then after intermediate comes upper intermediate and then after upper intermediate comes advanced but then after advanced comes expert so each one of these have 10 lessons and each one of these 10 lessons has a six, as you can see here, six out of six. It has uh, six uh, different, let's say, mini lessons and exercises inside. So this learn button here just uh, tells me that I'm here on the main page where I'm learning. And then we also have a chat bot uh, where you can do uh, mini exercises as well. So here's this like little link monkey. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it just speaks. It's like a like a little chatbot, just as what it says. And you can use like two two different answers. So let's say bonjour. Bonjour. And then let's go again. Comment allez-vous? And then I have to just choose four different things and I will choose let's say first one. Je dis bien. Et vous? Et vous? Ok. Je vais bien. A bientôt. And then I will choose au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. 
Yay! So I've completed the first one and let's just say continue. Okay, so when you go back to the learn, to the main, uh, main page, I will show you my first lesson. So I can review all, but I can also like go each lesson and just study step by step. So here it has four lessons and then there's a speaking part and then there's this exam. So on the laptop, I cannot do the speaking part because my laptop is not supporting it. So I do that on the app. But let me just show you the first lesson. The Je first femme. lesson Je suis une femme. Yes, shows you a uh, few... Un homme. Tu es un homme. It shows you a few new words that you need to learn. You can also choose uh, this snail here so that it says like very slowly. Tu es un homme. Okay, and then we'll go continue. Then I have to choose which one is the woman. And Une then femme. I check and it's correct. Une fille. So this is how it fille. goes. I will not finish all of it. Yes, I will quit lesson. Thank you very much. Then when you go on your profile, you can just um, check out the settings, you can put a daily reminder, it can be uh, every day and you can choose time, you can have sound effects, you can have voice speed on my profile. I can uh, see my achievement, how many bananas I have, uh, 5,730 uh, stars, uh, it says how fluent I am, uh, currently I'm 10% fluent, so very low, and I have current streak, it's one day I've been, uh, yeah, not very uh, consistent, unfortunately, past few days, and also on the leaderboard you can see like how your friends are um, doing. Now when you want to choose language, you just, like I said, first say which language you want to speak, which language you are speaking and then choose the language that you want to study. And there are really a lot of lot of languages. Like for example, Tagalog, I you don't even know where it's spoken, but yeah, they're really, oh, here's Serbian, Korean, Japanese, English, Italian, Chinese, French, currently I'm learning French, you can learn Arabic, Dutch, Greek, Slovak, Hindi, uh, Urdu or like many many different languages really many many different languages so I guess that there's uh, a little bit for everyone and oh, that's that it. a little bit of an overview in the app and how it looks on a desktop uh, computer and actually it was a laptop but never mind uh, so the beginners lessons are free, but all the other ones are um, subscription based and you can pay monthly, yearly or have a lifetime access, which is great. And okay, so the yearly plan is $48.99. It's like $49. Then monthly plan is $10.99 and a lifetime package is $100. Uh, $100 uh, $109.99 uh, I don't know what's with my numbers anyways uh, so yeah it's pretty um, I would say decent price uh, for what you're you like just uh, looking for uh, for an app to learn quickly something new some a uh, new language or just like to upgrade the one that you already know then maybe you can choose a monthly um, monthly a billing but if you want if you're like really someone who loves learning languages and really want to explore explore the app fully maybe a yearly plan and if you're really into languages and you know just love doing that then i guess that the lifetime subscription is 
uh, the bad feel. I would like to say what I like about the app and what I don't like about the app. And yeah, I'm being completely honest. First of all, I love that the app is pretty simple. There are not there aren't too many options, and it's really just fo like focused on language learning. And when you enter the app, you just jump into it. You jump into the lesson. They're uh, short, and you can finish them quickly. And uh, what I like is that uh, they're not very repetitive, like I really don't like when I'm just like reading or just uh, writing the same uh, sentence. So that is pretty cool and there's also a part of the lesson where uh, actually there's like a dialogue between two people and then it goes very quickly, I mean it's not very quickly, it's ordinary uh, pace of speaking but for someone who is just learning the language it might seem quickly but I like it and then there's exercise after that where you have to like you have some words and you have to choose where you put them in the uh, in that dialogue now what I don't like about this app is kind of also the same thing that I like about this app that dialogue thing uh, yeah it's pretty cool but um, and I've been uh, managing to finish all the dialogues, all, all these exercises quite successfully. However, I feel that uh, it might be hard if you're a complete beginner to some language and if you're really clueless about it. So I chose to study French and French seems very difficult for me, especially the pronunciation and speaking part. It's just like crazy difficult. However, uh, French is one of the Roman languages uh, which are based on the Latin language. So I studied the Latin language in my high school for four years and most of the foreign words in Serbian language are coming from Latin and Greek. So I feel that I have a good base in Latin language and I was also able to, uh, by watching TV series uh, in Spanish, like learn a lot of Spanish words. And these language, these two languages are both uh, Roman languages, so they have similarities. So I feel that I have a good base, and even if I don't know, and most of the time I don't know the words in the in that dialogue, but I can assume what it means uh, because of that uh, good base. However, if I was completely clueless about <laughs> French language, I would struggle. So I feel like it's a little bit difficult if you don't know some language at all. But if you do, then it's really good to uh, just like strengthen your uh, abilities in that language. There's also this thing that there are too many words, uh, and I would not say too many words, but you are learning many new words. But the grammar part is uh, not really that much emphasized. It's just like the, the parts will, which will make you speak actually which is good and I guess some people like it but I'm also in some sense a bit uh, traditional in language learning and I would really like to have some basic grammar um, before I jump into all those dialogues and all those um, how can I say like scenarios where you can use this sentence or that sentence so for that reason, I would say that I really wish that I had some um, good base, good strong base in grammar, French grammar, that would help me um, just advance. So this is something that I feel like it's a little bit missing in the app, but it really depends uh, on you and why you want to learn a new language. Do you just want to speak and you don't care about grammar or you're really uh, type of person that would just like to, you know, properly learn everything, grammar, basics, and speaking as well. So this thing can be both a good thing and a bad thing. It just depends on what you're actually looking for in the app. All right, guys, so that would be it for today's video. Uh, all in all, I would say that I definitely like Kling app. I like how it looks. I like how simple it is to be used. And... Um, I like the language learning process. I would definitely recommend this app for anyone who is looking for something new to try. It's really nice, easy and useful and I can say that I did uh, learn quite a lot. But again, like I said, it really depends if you have at least a little bit of knowledge of some language or you don't know uh, anything at all. 
So that can be, uh, let's say, more challenging, but still doable. I will leave in the description box down below the link where you can access the app. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below whether you liked it or not, if you have tried. And I will see you next time. Bye!